Hey, welcome to Nourishable Raw, an authentic conversation about nutrition with me, Dr. Lara. Today is Tuesday, March 12th of 2019, which puts us five days away from St. Patrick's Day. And this has me thinking about corned beef, the cornerstone of the classic St. Patty's Day dinner. Corned beef is cured using a special type of salt called sodium nitrite. The nitrites undergo chemical reactions with the proteins in the meat to prevent spoilage. Plus it adds an attractive pink color and some tasty flavors. These nitrites are also used to cure other processed meats, like bacon, sausages, hot dogs, and cold cuts. Here's the thing, while the nitrites are helpful to prevent spoilage, they also produce many chemical compounds that are really bad for your health. When the nitrites bind to proteins, they produce N-nitroso compounds. And these N-nitroso compounds are pretty nasty because they increase oxidative stress and inflammation in the body, which are underlying causes of many chronic diseases like cardiovascular disease and diabetes. These N-nitroso compounds are also carcinogenic and increase the risk of many different types of cancer. In 2015, the World Health Organization qualified processed meats as a human carcinogen. The largest study to date showed that eating more processed meat is associated with a higher risk of dying from any cause, including cardiovascular disease, cancer, respiratory diseases, diabetes, and kidney disease. This association was the strongest for processed red meat, like bacon and sausage. But we all know that eating bacon once won't kill you. How much nitrites is bad? These studies were comparing the highest versus the lowest intake. So they took their study participants and divided them across a spectrum from eating processed meat zero times per day versus eating two or more servings per day. And what they found was that there was an increase in disease risk for every additional 20 grams serving. The World Health Organization stated that 50 grams per day or more was associated with an increased risk of colorectal cancer. This is the equivalent of about four slices of bacon or one hot dog. So putting all this data together, this supports that regularly eating processed meat, and processed red meat in particular, is associated with really bad health outcomes. We've known that nitrates in meat are unhealthy for a long time, but my bacon says that it's all natural and nitrite free. So does that mean I'm good to go? Most nitrite free processed meats contain celery extract. Many plants, like celery, are naturally high in nitrates. Now when you eat an entire celery stalk, it also has other compounds like vitamin C and antioxidants, which counteract the effect of the nitrates. When celery extract is used to cure meat, the nitrates are concentrated and they're allowed to chemically react with the proteins to form those same nasty N-nitroso compounds. It doesn't matter whether the nitrates are coming from celery or from a salt, they are chemically forming the same compounds in the meat. This is one of those situations where the term all natural really frustrates me because it gives food a health halo, but really it's just a marketing gimmick. So what do we do with this information? Eating cured red meat every once in a while is okay. I'll probably still eat some corned beef on St. Patrick's Day, but routinely eating it as part of your regular diet is not a healthy choice. Now, many of these negative health associations are eliminated when the red processed meat is replaced with unprocessed white meat. So consider whether you can make some swaps for fresh chicken or turkey breast, or look at some plant-based options. That's what science tastes like. Thanks for tuning in to Nourishable Raw. If you have a question you'd like me to do an episode on, leave it in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all things nutrition. Mm.